we are with well someone who doesn't need an introduction but for formality sake yes it's pratap bose Thanks in his new role hi hi pratap Thanks so much for speaking to us. Thank you. All right, and we are at Mahindra's new SUV proving track. We've been driving uh, since the morning the new XUV 700, and right now we thought let's just stop, take a quick chat with Pratap because he's got quite a lot to talk about. Uh, we thought it would be a while, Pratap, for, from your first design for Mahindra, but yeah. I think in five or six weeks you've surprised us with your first design. That's true. Which is That's the true. logo. Which is the logo. The so new logo. why don't you just tell us a little bit about it? The logo. So why don't we walk to the car? Can okay. Just sort Super. of. So you know the idea was that so much was changing in the company. Mm -hmm. You know to build on where we are today and then move to the future. And when I saw the car itself, you know, just when mm -hmm. I joined, um, you know, I thought it it really needed something to to show. the revolution that had happened mm -hmm. you know to create a product like this right. and and others right. and and um, you know the, even the management was convinced that we needed a new logo for the suv uh, products right. you know because also there's a great refocus on what the brand essence is what mm -hmm. we stand for it's about authentic unmissable design authentic suvs and um, you know the brand essence became explore the impossible right. as you right. know So we said, okay, those are great set of words and mm -hmm. ideas. Right now, Pratap, it's your job to <laughs> make put it a into shape a, to it. put a shape to it that people can right. understand. Right. And um, you know, if you yeah. if you don't mind, Let's I'll sort yep. of yeah, yeah, absolutely take you to it. So the logo, of course, comes in many many uh, parts of a car. Mm -hmm. So you can see, of course. Right. The front is like the badge. Right. It's like a medal. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, India just won the Olympics, so medals are, or at least won its first Olympic gold in athletics. Right. So medals are topical. But this is where you you really show what you stand for right. on the on right. the front identity, grill yeah. of a car. Yeah, yeah. We, you wear it with pride. Um, so the thing was that how do I bring where we are coming from, mm -hmm. or where we've come from, and where we are going? Right. And uh, I thought the two M's were very interesting. Right. The first logo was yes. was two hands oh. holding a fist yeah, two, and two ha yeah. fists holding a Creating hammer. Creating a M or yeah. Correct. So it was an M and an M. Right. So I said, okay, we'll bring two M's back. Mm -hmm. One M is is everything that 75 years has done right. for us. We are standing in this place Correct. because of the efforts of some great of, people. Yeah, the past. So the the strong, very mm -hmm. stable M right. is in the middle, on right. the inside. And then the more explosive, mm. bold, expressive M is on the, on the outside. So you get the two M's. Right. This is, of course, what I call the sky of opportunity, right. or the uh, the sky ahead. That's the little road leading right. to that, and that's the gap you drive through. Drive through. And it's then, of course, <laughs> yeah. And then you'll see in different lighting. You'll, yeah. you know, the X will get yes. picked up. And in fact, you know, Pratap, that's something I wanted to ask you about also. And I think we had a small little Twitter uh, exchange about this. Yeah. The first yeah. thing, yeah, when you when you unveiled it, the first thing that caught my eye was that you've done three dimensional. Three, yeah. Uh, very very uh, candidly, if you could. Yes. Uh, why are other other brands, uh, automotive yeah. brands, going the two D route? Why do you think so? And why did you not? Yeah, I, absolutely right. I mean, it's quite a tendency. Right. Let me tell you, you know, a lot of the new electric vehicle companies, mm -hmm. especially coming out of San Francisco and China. Mm -hmm. Uh, have their funding and uh, you know their their sort of managements. Many of them come from the IT or the IT hardware and right. software world. Right. And in IT, if you if you know all the mm -hmm. the logos of computer right. companies, they're all 2D. Right. Uh, so a bit of that influence has come into Correct. their thinking. Right. Um, however, you know, like I said, I had to or I wanted to achieve three or four layers of mm -hmm. meaning. Right, and uh, to do that in a flat logo was going to be going quite to a challenge. Okay. And uh, so I thought, you know, every time you look at the logo, mm -hmm. you will notice something else. Right, and right. so just you know, for me, mm -hmm. uh, building and building some sort of emotional relationship or a bond with the logo mm -hmm. is important. When you see it on the key fob, right. when you see it spinning on the wheel Correct. centers, uh, in the tailgate. Right. The other thing was a lot of people ask me, why did you go for uh, symmetry? Mm -hmm. And again, I tell them if you look at the logo in in the rear view mirror, that means right. the Mahindra car is following you. Correct. It's always that one. It's always. If you look at it in the reflection yes. of a glass, it's always it's that always one. It doesn't yes. get flipped. It doesn't go upside down. True. Nothing. True. That's an so, interesting point, actually. Yeah. 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 Didn't didn't realize that one. So, yeah. yeah. True. <laughs> and of course, two very very important considerations uh, in the two locations that we use it. I'll just explain. One is in the front. Right. 
and one is on the airbag right. uh, steering wheel, yeah. airbag cover. Right. Those are very important from the safety legislation point yeah, of view. Yeah, that's the next thing because of a 3D, right? So how do you how do you do that? Th that's right. So mm -hmm. our our MRV engineers, mm -hmm. you know, took the logo that we created in 2D. They helped us create the 3D. Mm -hmm. And if you see the the, the physical, amount it yeah. projects, etc., mm -hmm. it's all within regulations. That means if it right. if it hits a person in right, the unfortunate right. event, it does. Mm -hmm. It doesn't injure that person, or there's right. no sharp corners. Right. Same with right. the airbag cover. Mm -hmm. Airbag deployment yeah, is true, an explosion. True. You know exactly, that. Exactly. Exactly. So none of those shards should go into the face exactly. and all of that. So, so there are some very serious considerations. So you don't want like a phantom imprint on... No, on or, <laughs> or, or, being, or being, you know, Correct. sort of uh, grazed or whatever it is. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Um, and uh, also the other thing, Pratap, that you all did announce and you said um, this is the new logo for the SUV lineup. Yeah. Uh, what's the thought behind that? What's the thought behind having two different logos? I, mean, I, I understand it's a strategy, yeah. but there are strategies where other companies have the same logo across trucks and... Yes. Cars, etc. So yeah. why the difference yeah. here? So I think here, you know, with the XUV 700, we are showing that we are moving to a completely mm -hmm. different level of, of the game. Okay. And uh, we also want to bring in a lot of new customers to the Mahindra right. Auto brand. Okay. Okay. And and to do that, we want to widen the base. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, give the give the SUVs a very right. strong identity of their own. Right. Uh, because it'll bring us new customers mm -hmm. uh, and. Hopefully, of course, you know our current customers right. love it as well. Correct. So it's also to do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so you do want, uh, and the company does want a differentiation between, let's say, the passenger lineup and the commercial vehicle lineup. That's right. At least yeah. from the visual identity. Yeah. And uh, don't forget, we have the tractor business, exactly. which uses the road ahead logo the road as well. Ahead, yes. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Correct. And the other thing, uh, Pratap, is actually on our drive this morning to the facility. Yeah. Uh, you know, there was a lot of excited finger pointing and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, there was also something else that, that, that triggered a question. A lot of people didn't recognize it mm -hmm. because it's a new logo. It's new. Right? Yeah. Uh, so there were different names and brand names being shouted. Some got Mahindra, some didn't. Okay. Right? Did you ever consider maybe lettering the Mahindra on, on the car? Actually, you know, if you see, this, this is one of the cars we removed that. That exactly. Just so to clean up the, the right. tailgate. I think okay. we, there are, otherwise there are so many messages. Mm -hmm. And as you rightly said, a logo takes a little time to bed You're itself. Right. Okay. And as we start communicating, I mean, people have seen the pictures of the car right. and the logo just for right. a couple of days now. Right. But as as we see more and more, Correct. it'll grow. People yeah. will understand what it is. Right. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I just one thing mm -hmm. I wanted to point out. You know, if you look at a logo. Uh, it has to work on so many multiple sizes. Correct. So when you when you drove into right. MSPT today, you would right. have seen the logo is about five feet high. Right. True. On the key fob, it's uh, right. six or seven millimeters. True. True. And it has to work at all those at levels. All those levels. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. And also on memor memorabilia. I mean, I think yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, for for me, logos is something that you you catch younger kids. With yes. you know, like wow, look at the yeah, and yeah. we've all grown up that way with the Ferrari or the Lamborghini logo, yep. and you know, obviously you want the logo to also to, yeah. to create yeah. that excitement. Yeah. It has to have that value. Right. The other thing is, again, if you look at the lines of the logo, uh, mm -hmm. you know, the the way it's in a trapezoidal shape, right. that actually sets up the 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 design for the rest of the the grill. Right. You know, right. the logo has to sort of fit in that Correct. grill. You Correct. know, so True. again, the consideration of True. how True. much that angle should have been right. was very important True. for us. True. And Pratap, on the on the rear, I wanted to ask you about the uh, the bezel yep. uh, that you've used to mount the logo. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, was this an aesthetic or a technical consideration or a bit of both? Yeah, uh, it, it's a bit of both. I mean, of course, it also sort of indicates where the handle is for the tailgate right. lift because we don't have a tailgate lift from here. We, yeah. We didn't right. want that punch out. We wanted right. it quite clean. Okay. Uh, you know. Uh, here usually you'll have to cut a cut a right. depression, or it's cut inside, or into it's the cut sheet. into the sheet right. metal. So so we said no, we'll do it right. here. It does both the jobs. Correct. Um, so yeah. yeah, right. And and also Pratap, as as a designer, I know you've not had a lot to do with yeah. this car. Yeah, uh, having just that's right recently that's right. come in, uh, you know. But um, in terms of complex shapes, uh, you know, we we often hear sometimes that it's not necessarily expensive uh, to do complex shapes. But we do know that this particular shape required you all. Uh, to use uh, 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 plastic, plastic. Uh, because yeah. it's it's a more complex one. That's correct. Uh, so is is that a, is that a very big consideration, or going forward, are you not going to be looking at that at Mahindra? No, no. I think it just depends on on the design. I think there, if you look at the how sharp this mm -hmm. this tail lamp is, uh, there's also a lot of features integrated into the tailgate. Right. So plastic has some 
very distinct yes. advantages Correct. as well. It gives you True. some freedom in the shape. Correct. And integration of functions, you know, True. so then True. you're not adding Correct. stuff. Correct. So, but it would be, uh, so just going back to your mm -hmm. particular question, it would be on a case-by-case -case basis. Right. You, right. you would design the shape first and then we would see what material would suit that. Would Okay. that shape right because right. sometimes you know when we show it as a clay model and the management mm -hmm. loves what they right. see through the production <laughs> process you know yeah, everything start starts to. changing and Correct. in this case if you heard Kripa yesterday mm -hmm. you know I believe Anand said that you know don't change anything on the car and, right. and they've stayed very very true to Correct. that yeah Correct. Correct. Yeah, and, and and Pratap also on on the uh, 700 or the 700, yep. uh, right? Uh, the lettering itself, you know, also has changed. Have you also worked on this, or was it just the logo? No, I worked on just the logo. Of course, the branding was already right. done by the design team. Uh, you know, sometimes we go to outside agencies, but this was done by the in-house design team. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. great, great. Yeah. And and the team, Pratap. Uh, how, how big is your team here now at, at, at Mahindra? So at Mahindra in India, in, in Kandivili as mm -hmm. you know, is the main studio. It's about 55, 60 people okay. working across Auto and Farm. Right. Uh, we have just established a few weeks ago MADE yes, in Europe, in, UK, yes. in, in Coventry. Yeah. That will grow to about 30 or 40 people. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, of course, we can dip into, you know, right. the legendary True. Pin in Farina. So, right. uh, you know, they're a group company. Correct. And we invite them to participate in projects. Correct. But both the teams in mm -hmm. India and in the UK are going to expand. Right. The India team, we have a very, uh, right. you know, aggressive expansion to bring in more capability as well. Correct. It's not just Correct. capacity. You've seen the, the, the plans for products going forward, yes. the number True. of products in the next five or six years. True. So we need to build capability, capacity, True. you know, competency, Correct. all of that. Yeah, and so. I think I think talking about the the number of new products, the last time you spoke to us when you had, I think just come in, you did say that that was some of, something that really enticed you. Yes, uh, you know, as a designer. Absolutely. Uh, what's Absolutely. what's your of those products? I know yeah. you're not going to tell me any details. Sure. But sure. Uh, which of those products w is exciting you the most, or, or the one you really want to get get your hands into? Uh, if I'm honest, mm -hmm. you know, they're all very interesting sort of name plates we have, right. you know, you have Bolero, Scorpio, right. you have XUV series, you have right. the car series. But I think uh, the one for the future which excites me the most, and Sergius, it was probably mm -hmm. one of the reasons why I, I, I came on board, right. is the Bone Electric. I think, okay. uh, you know, for a designer right. to have literally a clean sheet of paper with engineering teams right. who are working on the architecture is mm -hmm. a very rare event. And, uh, you know, Bone Electric yeah. is literally at that stage true, now true. so that excites me incredibly yeah. actually you're right I, I guess through the life of a designer or uh, you a designer would typically get maybe what two at, at yeah, best two at best new, two at new best. absolutely clean sheet. absolutely so here i had a clean sheet mm. on the logo which <laughs> which i think almost no designer gets you know yeah, for most part because, yeah absolutely you know, because logos point. sort of live for 20 30 40 Long, years yes. Uh, so that was incredible for me. Correct. It showed me also the speed and agility of the company. Uh, the willingness to uh, yeah. So just you know the adapt, the yeah. speed by, with which we went to design, engineer, mm -hmm. approve, and then apply the logo Correct. is something I've not seen, wow. and it speaks volumes about uh, you know how the company works and things, it's the agility intent. and and yeah. the the teamwork, and of course, uh, like you said, you know, Born Electric will be a clean sheet of paper. Right. You can't ask for anything more. Great, great, great. Thanks. Thanks so much, Pratap. It's been a pleasure speaking with you. Thank I you. I know you've got like a lot of interviews and, and uh, I think a flight as well to catch, right? <laughs> yeah. So, so thank you again so much. Thank uh, you. We look forward to the Born Electric cars, uh, which uh, they're not going to be the first cars from you though. No, they won't. Yes, we're going to be, we're going to see, obviously it's a new platform. We're going to see other cars. Of course, before, along the way. Along, along the way. way. Yeah. Great, great. Yeah. We look forward to those too. Thank Thanks you. Thanks again, Pratap. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers.